Okay, I want to talk a little bit about the British Library. There was a tweet that the British Library put out. It had to do with a fish. <laughs> and this fish has pissed a bunch of the conspirachud MAGA assholes off. Transphobes are mad that the British, British Library posted about a fish that can change its sex. We don't really need to read this whole thing. I'll put this down in the chat for you guys also, so you can check that out if you want. There it is. Long story short, there's a certain kind of fish out there. Here it is. I think we could just go to the Wayback Machine, and then this is the tweet by the British Library. They put out this fish, and it says... This is a Maori Rassi. Take about five to seven years to become fully sexually mature. And around their ninth birthday, the females can change sex and become super males. Even more prominent hump, brighter color blue and green, which make them super attractive to females. Ooh la la. Scientists are still learning about the factors that cause this transition, but fish typically change sex to fill a niche in their environment. A female Rassi named Senna at the National Aquarium, transformed into a super male upon passing of a male named Tang. And there goes the fish. Fish sex is wildly inventive. More from the British Library. Clownfish are prote uh, protanderous hermaphrodites. Coral globies can change sex repeatedly. Freshwater mangrove killfish. That's an awesome name, killifish. Reproduced by self-fertilization. All female Amazon moles mate with males of other species but completely disregard their sperm. So, what's the point of all this? Why was the British Library posting about a fish? It's because of Pride Month. Let's go ahead and turn that off for now. Because one of the arguments that you get from transphobes and basically homophobes in general is that it's unnatural. That's a thing that you often get from these people a lot. Uh, being gay, being trans, it's unnatural. You don't see it in nature. God made two sexes, male, female, and that's what you see all throughout nature. It's male, female, everywhere in nature, and it's unnatural for people to try to change their gender. Even though these people, they always say change their sex, and it's like, no, no one's changing their sex, they're changing their gender. <laughs> right? They don't understand the difference between sex and gender, but that's a that's a, a discussion for another another time. So, in real life, it's not that cut and dry. In real life, there are plenty of examples of animals that not only exhibit homosexual behavior, you know, the uh, the penguins at the New York Zoo, for example, that two male penguins that they wrote a child's book about. You guys heard about, you guys remember that? The, the kid's book about the male penguins that the uh, conspirachuds and magatards and all those people lost their fucking minds over. Remember that? Not only that, but there's also examples in nature of animals which can change their sex because, because sex is not a binary. It never has been a binary. It has always been fluid, even sometimes in human beings. You get people like intersex people, that kind of thing, who were born, don't exactly uh, conform to this idea that sex is just one or the other. Right? But especially when it comes to the animal world, there's all kinds of examples of that. Not only fish, you get frogs that can change their sex. You have lots of animals out there that don't have a sex that can, you know, they're just, they just reproduce amorphously or whatever. So it's like, no, it's, it never was this sort of binary Adam and Eve and not Adam and Steve bullshit. And that's what that tweet was in support of. The tweet was showing that that argument is, is BS. The argument that uh, it's unnatural is BS because it is very well natural. This, of course, caused a pretty crazy backlash with all of the MAGA chuds and other assorted conspiracy theory Christian conservative assholes 
Let's look at a few of the tweets. This is from Dennis Noel Cavana. British Library have just deleted this tweet following another successful day of Pride Month for those of us pointing out human beings aren't fish and they're pushing a cult that sterilizes vulnerable kids. Very well played, troops. On to the next institution to be clown itself. I give this guy points for using the word be clowned in a sentence. But still, more points taken away for spreading misinformation. Because, first off, being trans is not a cult. It's not an ideology. It's not like you're worshipping anything or any crap like that. And being trans does not sterilize vulnerable kids. That is bullshit. <laughs> not at all. What, what he's referring to is side effects of puberty blockers. Right. Well, those side effects have a very small instance of actually occurring. Here's the thing, right? There, there's side effects with any medical, like, any any kind of medical treatment that you go through. It's going to have side effects, right? Everything. doesn't matter what the hell it is. There will be side effects. You know, cancer treatment, there's side effects, right? Vaccines, there's side effects. Taking fucking aspirin has side effects, <laughs> right? So it's like... There's always side of, so yeah, that is a thing that, you know, a very small number of people who have taken puberty blockers may have, may have problems, like reproductive problems, right? The point is, you know, the risks going in and when you do it, especially since they're minors, you have their parents consent with these things because minors cannot get medical treatment without their parents consent. Anywhere in the country, you need to have your parents' consent, with the possible exception of getting abortions, I think, in certain states. I know in California, for example, minors are allowed to get abortions without their parents' consent. But still, very, very small exceptions to that rule. So, that's bullshit, right? But here, this guy is celebrating the fact that the British Museum caved to the pressure and took down their tweet because the anti-woke mob kept sending them hate and fucking death threats. That's why they took it down. Here's one. This is from a guy named Robert Graham. Getting really fed up seeing these individuals and their flags. This is in um, response to that guy, Dennis Kavanaugh. Right? This is just some rando on the internet somewhere, most likely a bot, because look at his look at his Twitter handle, Robert G one two blah 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 blah. This dude is probably a bot, but still, look at what he's saying. Fed up of seeing these individuals and their flags. Oh yeah, how dare, <laughs> how dare someone express themselves on the internet, right? How dare somebody express their solidarity with people whose rights are being trampled on. That's all it really is. If you post a pride flag during pride, you don't even have to be gay or be trans, right? What are you what are you what are you saying? If you post that flag, you're saying I support people <laughs> and I support people people's rights. I support their ability to do what they want with their lives because what is ultimately pride month about pride month is about not being ashamed of who you are that's why they call it pride because for years and years and years being a gay person being anything except a straight cis person being anything outside of that norm was something to be ashamed of for literally the entirety of human history all the well not not in the entire of human history but you know recent recent western history you know going back at least a couple hundred years it was probably more than that i mean you know you could say like in ancient times it was fine to be gay like if you lived in ancient greece or some shit but in like the western world for like the last two thousand years that was a thing that you were a shit you were basically forced to be ashamed of that you would you would be ostracized from society if not murdered 
I mean, in the 19th century, 18th and 19th centuries, right, and uh, early 20th century, they would institutionalize you for being gay. It's like it was illegal to be gay in, in Britain. It was illegal to be gay. You could go to prison, right? And they would force chemical, like, you know, castrators on you and stuff like that. You guys ever heard of Alan Turing? He's the guy that basically invented the computer. Alan Turing, you know, without Alan Turing, we wouldn't have the internet today. We wouldn't have computers. You wouldn't have cell phones. You wouldn't have any of that shit, right? That's what they did to Alan Turing, you know, the father of modern computing. He was forced to take chemical castrators and essentially committed suicide. That's the rumor, at least, is that he committed suicide because he was gay, right? That's what they would do to you in the past. So what is pride about? Pride is about not hiding it, not having to feel guilty, not having to be afraid and being out and being proud of who you are. And if you don't like it, you can fucking bend over and kiss my giant ass. That's what pride is about. That's what pride parades are for. You go out, you have a parade, and if nobody, if you don't like it, fuck you. That's the parade. We're going to do it anyway. We're not going to hide in the fucking closet, all that shit. And you don't even have to be gay to participate. I'm not gay. I am not gay. I am a cis male, you know, married to a woman, <laughs> right? Not gay. My wife is, you know, my wife is part of the LGBT community, but I'm not, right? And... The whole point is like, well, to be in solidarity with people who are not ashamed. And it's like, good, because that's what our country is supposed to be. That's what the United States is supposed to be. The United States is supposed to be about people who are, you know, equal, living in a society where everyone is equal. And we don't treat these people like they're equal. So it's like, look at this fucking guy. Robert Graham here is fed up with people wanting to be equal. <laughs> it's like, you know. I mean, that's the other point. The, the great thing for Robert Graham is that we have another thing in this country called freedom of speech, where you're allowed to say whatever the hell you want, even if it makes you look like a giant fucking asshole. So, there you go. You know, ain't democracy grand, huh? Let's see. Here's a guy... Here's somebody named Ixolensic. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. They turned off comments. British Library knows I'm right, but also knows it's not allowed to, to know true facts. Like, if the fish starts as one sex, then changes to the other sex, it's because there are two sexes. I don't understand what the point of this is. Like, there are two sexes, so... What are you trying to say? If a fish changes from one sex to another, that's okay? Like, that's the thing about all this stuff, right? Like, I think when it comes to transphobes, is that there is no intellectual basis behind it at all. There's no intellectual, like, sort of reasoning behind why being, tra like, why being trans is wrong. Like, look at this, what this woman just said. What she says literally does not make any sense. British Library knows I'm right, but also knows it's not allowed to know true facts. Like that, if the fish starts as one sex, then changes to the other sex, it's because there are two sexes. So, does that mean that human beings are should be allowed to change their sexes because there's two sexes? Like, you see how that doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, because there is no intellectual underpinning behind transphobe, behind transphobia. The underpinning, the, the reasons behind it, behind transphobia, are 100% feeling-based. It's because it either conflicts with their religion, or conflicts with their cultural, pre you know, their cultural uh, um, acuteness against gay people and trans people. That's all it is. And none of them can actually give a good, decent, intellectually backed reason as to why it's bad to be trans. They can't. You know why? Because being trans and being gay and being anything that's not cis, right? That is 
protected by the First Amendment. Trans issues are First Amendment issues. They are. Your expression of your gender is freedom of speech. That's what it is. You're allowed to express your gender in any way you want. And the government, according to the First Amendment, should not be allowed to stop you. And that's why all of these laws you're seeing about, uh, you know, people should not be getting trans-affirming care and all this other shit that you're seeing out of Florida and Tennessee and Louisiana and shit like that. That's why all of those laws are unconstitutional. That's why the trans bans keep getting overturned. You know, there was the, the trans ban in Utah got overturned. I think, was it in Utah the other day? I'm going to, let, let me look that up. There was one that was, you know, let me see. It was very recently. Trans ban overturned. Florida, okay. Oh, no, it was in Florida. Federal court halts enforcement of Florida transgender ban four days ago. Wow. There you go. Right? <laughs> Excuse me, so it was in Florida. The, the, the fucking Florida is ground zero for all of this anti-trans shit. Right? That's why it got uh, halted, because it's unconstitutional. Because you have a right to express your gender in any way you see fit. That includes how you dress. That includes who you decide to have sex with. Who you decide to marry. That even includes alterations you do to your body in order to get rid of gender dysmorphia or whatever, to feel comfortable in your own skin. All of that is protected by the First Amendment. They, they have no argument against that. The only argument they have is on either cultural or religious grounds. And unfortunately for them, first the First Amendment, that the same First Amendment that protects their religion and protects their cultural expression also protects your expression of your gender and your sex <laughs> and your sexual orientation so fuck these people moving on there's one more that i want to see here this is from dick nixon here's the one we were looking at earlier the British Library deleted this trans fish tweet also what is a woman was released on twitter yesterday and has almost 40 million views the reason why I wanted to bring this up, Dick Nixon here, is because of what he says right here. It's about pushing, pushing an insane ideology, right? Being gay, being trans, has nothing to do with an ideology. That's just not true. <laughs> it's not true at all, right? If it was true... Every single gay person, every single trans person would also be super progressive. They're not. There are millions and millions of people out there who are gay and trans who are not super progressive. There are entire organizations of gay Republicans, for example. There's very famous, prominent, um, prominent people out there who are trans even. Who are like highly conservative Blair White perfect example of a super conservative hateful person who also is trans who you know person who's trans who who posts memes and shit against trans people against trans rights so no it's not an ideology that's the thing is that what Dick Nixon and his cohorts post that's an actual ideology right when you go out and you and you pass laws in order to take away people's rights based on your religion, that's an actual ideology. And it's just funny how it's like, you know, they, it's funny how it's, it's conservatism. It's all projection. They all project the same shit that they, you know, the same issues, the same problems, the same everything that they accuse their enemies of doing. It's like they 100% do themselves. So, anyway, folks, fuck these people. Go out there and be proud. Anybody who's out there um, marching or whatever this month, because, you know, it is Pride Month, please be careful, by the way, because the conspiracy chuds out there are really are losing their minds this month. They're going crazy. It's kicked into high gear. 
And we're already seeing examples of violence at Pride events, like in California and in Oakland, for example. There was a bunch of people, like, basically got in a huge fight <laughs> at a Pride event, stuff like that. And I was going to talk about it this, this week, but there isn't a lot of information on it. That kind of thing, so shit is happening out there, just please be careful. But at the same time, don't let them scare you. Don't let them scare you away. Like, the whole point of, of pride is to be proud. And be proud and to shove it in their faces, yes. This time it's like, no, you go out, march, have fun with your family. Be careful. But also don't uh, don't cower in fear. It's like, no, be proud. Be proud of who you are. Hello, folks. If you like what I do and you want to support the channel, please consider buying something from my SD shop, supporting me on Patreon, liking and subscribing, and checking me out across my social media links listed below. Thank you all so much, and see you next time.